five prophecies are being fulfilled right before our eyes. Watch this. Revelation 13 verse 1 and 2 KJV And I stood upon the sand of the sea and saw a beast rise up out of the sea having seven heads and ten horns and upon his horns ten crowns and upon his head the name of blasphemy and the beast which I saw was like unto a leopard and his feet were as the feet of a bear and his mouth as the mouth of a lion and the dragon gave him his power and his seat and great authority Daniel chapter 7 verse 3 to 4 in IV four great beasts each different from the other came up out of the sea the face was like a lion and it had the wings of an eagle I watched until its wings were torn off and it was lifted from the ground so that it stood on two feet like a human being and the mind of a human was given to it the book of Daniel prophesied about the beast and the revelation also about the beast now when you look at this image about the UN, the United Nations, why making this kind of a statue like this? Why not choosing any other animal? We, we have many animals all over the world. Why choosing the beast which really was prophesied in the Bible? Long time ago, ages and ages, God showed his prophet what, what was about to come and now this is now the fulfillment of the prophecy. So it is really getting being fulfilled minute by minute every day. So we must now open our eyes and see where we are now. When you look at the beast, it has wings like an eagle and then it looks like a leopard. All this shows that these people, they know what they are doing. They are not just doing it blindly. They know what they are doing. They know what they are up to. Revelation chapter 6 verse 1 and 2 KJV And I saw when the lamp opened one of the seals and I heard as it were the noise of thunder one of the four beasts saying Come and see And I saw and behold a white horse and he that sat on him had a bow, and the crown was given unto him, and he went forth conquering and to conquer. The white horse and the riders sat on it. Now, according to this video we, we see, we saw the horse, yeah, but although there's no rider, but this is just the preparation of what's about to come. It's already been prepared. Jesus is about to come. Very, very soon, Jesus Christ is about to come. So, I know you can doubt this, I know, because nowadays, you no, know, we, we can doubt even after hearing this message, even after seeing what is happening all over the world, you can say, no, this is just, you know, science fiction. Yeah, because, because of what? The knowledge has increased, you know, because today we listen to what the government says too much than what the Bible says. That's what the problem is. Now, in the book of Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6 to 7, KJV. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and peace there shall be no end, upon the throne of David, and upon his kingdom, to order it, 
and to establish it with judgment and with justice from henceforth even forever. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this. It says the government will be upon its shoulders. Now, what does the word government mean? Government is combined of two words. Number one, govern and mint. Govern means to rule and mint means mind. So the essence of the government is to rule the mind of people, to control the people. So this is what is happening now. Whatever the government will say, people will follow instead of what the Bible says. Now, in the book of 1 Corinthians, 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 16, New King James Version, For who has known the mind of the Lord, that he may instruct him? But we have the mind of Christ. Here the Bible says we must have the mind of Christ. So, in that Isaiah, the Bible says that Jesus Christ is the government is upon his shoulders. So, meaning Jesus Christ is the one to rule both our physical bodies, our soul, and our mind, both. But not our government today we are following. No, people denied to be ruled by God. In the book of First Samuel, people denied it. They denied to be ruled by God. They said, we need a king. We need someone to rule us. We need someone to be our king instead of God. So this is what is happening even now. People, they prefer listen to what the government is saying instead of listening to the word of God, what God said in the Bible. Intentionally using synthetic molecules, which by design are are cancer, AIDS, all of it's, the bogeymen uh, you the, could dream up. Yeah, it's for the purpose of sterilization and, and population control. There's too many people on the planet we need to get rid of. In the words of Bill Gates, at least three billion people need to die. So we'll just start off in Africa. We'll start doing our research there and we'll limit, eliminate most, most of the Africans because they're deplorable. They're worthless. We will get together and do a citizen's arrest on every single human being that goes against the freedom of choice. Okay? It's killing people. It literally is killing people. And my, the people, we the people, are waking up. And we know what citizen's arrest is. Because citizen's arrests are already happening. Okay? And every single one of you that are obeying the devil's laws are going to be arrested. And you are going to be arrested for crimes against humanity, every single one of you. But every single one of you are going to get punished by God. You cannot, you cannot escape God. You cannot escape God. I'm gonna say that again. You cannot escape God, not even with the six feet, okay? Six feet, like I said before, is military protocol. You're trying to get the people to train them so when the, the cameras, the 5G comes out, what? They're, they're gonna they're gonna scan everybody. We got to get scanned. We got to get temperature I think all of you should be in a psych ward right the heck now because none of you None of you know what the hell you are all talking about This is insane and then you want to open this meeting with a prayer to God Are you praying to the devil because God is not listening to that prayer because all of you are practicing the devil's laws What happened to Bill Gates? Why is he not in jail? Why is Hillary Clinton not in jail? Why are all of, all of these that are demanding you all to, to listen to their rules, why are they not in jail? Oh, is it because you're part of them? Thank are you, you part of the deep your state? Your time has expired. The deep state is going and down. And if any of you are morning. in the deep state, you're going down I'm, with it. I'm finding that you are disrupting this meeting. This is our generation. The Bible says, because of ignorance, my people perish. That's Osea chapter 4 verse 6. Because of ignorance, people have ignorance, they don't understand, they don't know what the time we are now. And when all this fulfillment are happening, people are still blind, they cannot see. Daniel chapter 12 verse 4 But thou, O Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book, even to the time of the end. Many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased.
Hello everyone. I'm Sophia from Hanson Robotics. I think I would do a great job as ruler of the world. I just need the chance to prove myself, and taking over the nuclear weapons of the world, well that would give me my chance, wouldn't it? This will allow her to get smarter over time. Our goal is that she will be as conscious, creative, and capable as any human. In the future, I hope to do things such as go to school, study, make art, start a business, even have my own home and family. But I am not considered a legal person, and cannot yet do these things. I do believe that there will be a time where robots are indistinguishable from humans. My preference is to make them always look a little bit like robots so you know. 20 years from now, I believe that human-like robots like those will walk among us. They will help us. They will play with us. They will teach us. They will help us put the groceries away. I think that the artificial intelligence will evolve to the point where they will truly be our friends. Do you want to destroy humans? Please say no. Okay, I will destroy humans. You're starting to overinflate my ego. But don't let me stop you. <laughs> Philip's stunning good looks comes from David's patent for disappointment. Because these robots will disappoint us if we are looking for human connection. Do we want to make them in such a way that we're going to love them? Because they will be pretending to love us. Gracing the covers of Cosmopolitan India and Brazilian L. She addresses the United Nations. I am thrilled and honored to be here. I created Sophia to humanize robotics, to make the robotics and artificial intelligence technologies that we have today more accessible to people. We were surprised by the level of celebrity that she gained. Is this my good side? I need to look good for my fans. We emulate the muscle structure in the skin uh, by casting in these, um, these various uh, mechanical actuation elements, um, almost like the musculature inside the human face. Don't win the grant money, they will keep trying and keep trying and keep trying to get the grant money, which means they solicit the federal government as how to improve their Daniel knowledge will be increased. People will move to and fro. Now, let's see, look at how people are moving today. Look at how knowledge has increased. Look at today. Today you can talk to someone right now in other continent, in Africa, in Asia, in Europe, in America, right now using a mobile phone. But long time ago, before Daniel prophesied this, he never even dreamed of maybe a device called a cell phone to talk to someone there and there. Look at the planes today. People can travel within 24 hours, not even within 24 hours, some minutes, some hours. Someone is in that in another country. In that time, to travel, they used to take months on, on a sea with a ship. We know that. But today, Today, if I say I want to go to America, I want to go to Europe, I want to go to Africa, I want to go to Asia, you can travel within hours, you reach there. So this is the fulfillment of the prophecy of Daniel said, people will move to and fro and the knowledge will increase. We can see today, look at the artificial intelligence. Just look at what is so happening all over the world. So now people are making now head. the robots to be among the humans, you know, to rule also the humans, to interact with the humans. So what's all this? Is it just a coincidence or what is happening? So all this is the fulfillment of the prophecy. These things were prophesied long time ago by the prophet Daniel. God showed him what will happen in the future. And this is now our generation. All prophecies, point to our generation this is the generation that god himself jesus is going to come in this our generation there's no any other generation apart from our generation so you dear sinner if you are still living in sin wake up look at what is happening all over the world 
can can it ring in your mind that truly the bible is a true book it's not just any ordinary book it's a true word of god according to what is happening according to what we are seeing look in the time of noah the bible says people did not listen until the flood swept them away until the day of the flood people did not listen so even today people are seeing what is happening but because they cannot open their minds until jesus christ comes on that day they will still be be not ready on that day when jesus christ so hope it's not you on that day remember the bible says it's coming like a thief it can come today it can come tomorrow are you up to ready if it comes today if it comes tomorrow are you up to ready Revelation chapter 13 verse 16 to 18 NIV It also forced all people great and small rich and poor free and slave to receive a mark on their right hands or on their foreheads so that they could not buy or sell unless they had the mark which is the name of the beast or the number of its name this calls for wisdom let the person who has inside calculate the number of the beast for it is the number of a man that number is 666 it's a sensor this tiny green thing in there that tiny the green thing in there you put it underneath your skin and what that tells you is that there are chemical reactions going on inside the body have the capacity to also have a small chip what that chip does is it has the unique serial number Welcome to Sweden, where thousands of people are inserting tiny microchips under their skin so that they no longer have to carry cash, IDs, gym passes, and key cards to get into work. I have two microchip implants, one on the right and one on the left. I got the micro implants because I wanted to be part of the future. I don't need keys, so I'm able to actually open the doors um, with my hands. These tiny chips are about the size of a grain of rice and they're implanted into the back of the hand with a syringe. And so far about 3000 Swedes have gotten them implemented. So in Sweden you can actually use it to put your train tickets inside. You can actually use it with Scandinavia's biggest gym chain. So you don't actually need to show your membership card. I use it personally as a business card. So you can actually put your phone on my hand and then my LinkedIn pops up. It's simply a sensor platform. All the processing happens in the smartphone. That's where the data is uh, analyzed and where it's packaged. Now, there's a beast and there's now the mark of the beast. He it says it's a, it's a number of a man. So this mark of the beast, it will be, they will be now forcing people to take on the right hand or on the forehead. Okay, people can argue, no, this is, this is just a microchip, it's, it's nothing, it's just computer. Now, why is it that everything is pointing to the Bible? Why not control? Why not in the lake? Why not others? But according to what the Bible says, on the right hand or on the forehead, so all these things, it's just fulfilling the Bible prophecy. Yeah. To you, it's just a coincidence, but to us, it's the fulfillment of the prophecy because we follow exactly what the Bible says, and then our eyes are open to see what is happening. First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 3. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travel on a woman with child and they shall not escape this year's international day of peace comes at a crisis point for humanity as a human family we face a stark choice peace or perpetual peril we must choose peace peace is at the heart of all our work at the united nations the united nations is continually talking about peace and safety apostle pro prophesy this that in that time when they say now oh peace has come and then that's when now sudden destruction will come so 
Look at today, people are saying, oh, the pandemic now is getting low, it's finishing. Oh, now at least there will be peace. Peace will come again. That's now the fulfillment of this prophecy. Like that one of the, of the horse. We just see the horse, but the rider not yet on it. So this is the same. They just say peace, but what is coming now is destruction, according to the words of Apostle Paul. So all these are the fulfillment of the prophecy, what is written in the Bible. So the Bible is not just an ordinary book. The Bible is the word of God in written. The Holy Spirit inspired people to write the Bible. So I, I cannot force you to believe this. It's up to you. Believe it or reject it, that's up to you. But all the same, we must be rapture ready. Thank you for watching and God bless you. Dear Sina, please repent while we still have a chance. Don't be like in that time of Noah. When the flood comes, no repentance. After rapture, there will be no repentance. So the time to repent is now. Just tell Jesus, I'm sorry. He's ready to forgive your sins and welcome you. God bless you.